about this. You talk about this snow bunny crisis a lot, man. Uh, and you talk about the, I've read somewhere, well, I'm viewed somewhere where you talk about the black man, uh, when he gets in an interracial situation, he is only getting the leftovers of a white man. Can you speak in depth about this, man? I know you talked about it during the whole you, uh, the you may you doka situation. Um, can you give our viewers a description, man, of this? Well, here's the thing. I don't have anything against anybody. Mm -hmm. No white woman, no yellow woman, no brown woman, no red woman. But if we're going to save ourselves, we got to build strong all-black families. Mm -hmm. Strong all-black families. That's a black man and a black woman. There's no way getting around it. If you care about the future of the black community, you want to build a black family. That's it. Now, when we get to the economics of marriage, because mm -hmm. marriage is fundamentally a financial institution, it's a business arrangement. Mm -hmm. women live longer than men on average so if I die and I marry a white woman she gets all of my wealth my estate I just gave white people billions of dollars from black people mm -hmm. how can we afford to take from ourselves and give to people who have already stolen enough take Kobe Bryant rest in peace mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant was assassinated and Vanessa Bryant, a Latino, inherited. You said, you said he was assassinated? Yes, he, Kobe was assassinated. This Latino inherits all of his wealth, and she hasn't done nothing for a black community yet. Marvelous Marvin Hagler died of COVID. Mm -hmm. His white wife inherited his estate. I'm not aware of anything she's done. Tiger Woods was divorced by his first white wife. She took a billion dollars. She ain't done nothing for no black community. We are literally hemorrhaging billions, billions of dollars to white women. Monies that can be building schools, jobs, monies that can be solving some of our problems. And we just giving it away simply to have access to the pale vagina. That doesn't make any sense to me. The white woman's vagina for a billion dollars? Really? Really? No, not in my book. Absolutely not. Stick with your own kind. Nobody likes us anyway. And you know what hurts me the most? And of course, this past weekend, Joel and B, mm -hmm. he just married his snow bunny. Knowing very <laughs> well that white girl would have never even looked at him if he wasn't a if he wasn't a millionaire athlete. So if Ray Young just married his snow bunny, that white girl wouldn't have even looked at him if he wasn't a, a, a million dollar in an NBA athlete. And here's That's the thing, my brother. That's a fact. These athletes know this. Mm -hmm. This is what breaks my heart. You know the white woman is only with you for what you got. You know this. Mm -hmm. And you marry her anyway. Ten years from now, let's see what happens. There's going to be a divorce, and she's going to leave with half the damn money. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's these, it, it shouldn't be this easy, my brother. Why yeah. is it this easy for these white women to snatch up these multi-million dollar black men who know they don't want them for nothing but their money? Mm. Sleep with them for a couple years, give them access to the pale vagina for five or six years and walk off with a billion dollars. If mm. I could talk to Tiger Woods, I got to ask him, Tiger Woods, was that <laughs> pale vagina for a billion dollars, my brother? I bet you he'll tell me hell no. But that's what they paying. And, and it's getting worse because guess what the white girls are doing now? Mm -hmm. If you've been paying attention, the white girls are now suing. Girlfriends are suing for money. Have you noticed this? Mm. They're mm. not even wives girlfriends are Nasty suing. Way. yeah girlfriends <laughs> are suing so I'm, yeah. i, I want to see what happens in the court because if the courts give girlfriends legitimacy because before you had to be a wife they, suing they can't they can't girlfriends. set that precedent man <laughs> that that they suing as mean. girlfriends my brothers and these coons still running out here wiping them up they get what they deserve i don't feel sorry for none of them so who's left, man? The black man or the black woman, man? Because you know, white black women are dating white men as well too. Who is left? One another. They are, but black men date out the race more than any other group. Black women dating out the race don't even compare to what we're doing, and we've been doing it the longest. Mm. So we can't scapegoat her. Okay, the black woman's options are limited because you got too many homosexual males, incarcerated males, deceased males. And just don't want to be bothered males out there. And you got your snow bunny male, snow bunny crisis. Mm -hmm. But black women don't have a lot to choose from, my brother. So mm -hmm. I don't condone it, though. The sister's still wrong. I want to be clear about that. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if we weren't doing what we were doing, 
she would be less apt to do what she's doing. We got to save the black family. That's the bottom line. No, and no. nobody's going to save it but ourselves. Mm. In my opinion, the essence of a woman is the same everywhere. But what do you? What's your take on this? These this past. What do you mean the essence of the woman is the same everywhere? I mean that you know you got these passport bros. You got people saying, "I want to go out. I want to go to another country to uh, to to get this type of." Are, are, are they getting black women from these other countries, or are they? No, they, they nah, they're seeking. They're they're going out and seeking women of different races. Maybe uh, other. I don't support maybe, it then. Maybe the other black women as well, too. You know, it's it's always a divide that's going on. You got the divide between uh your, your black women overseas and then your your black women here in the states, you know, your Dominican, your different type of nationalities. And me, I say the essence of a woman is the same because you know you can deal with that same woman where you are in America as well, too, and love, cherish, and enjoy her as well, too. But you know, uh, what he, I don't know if you're familiar with that, the passport bros. I've heard of it. Yeah. You know, but if they out there bunny hopping for women of other races, I don't support any crap like that. You know, I'm very disappointed in the state of the black man right now. I'm very mm -hmm. disappointed because we are not acting like men. We don't want responsibility for nothing, but we want everybody to be accountable to us, but we're not accountable to nobody else. I mean, the biggest, the biggest shame on the black man right now, all of us, is we are not taking care of our boys collectively. Black mm. boys are catching hell and black men aren't doing anything about it. And I'm not talking about no damn football teams and basketball practice. I'm so tired of that crap. I'm mm -hmm. talking about some real solutions for our sons. You mm. know, we sh black men should be fighting the school districts to put the industrial building trades back in. We should be fighting the police to keep their hands off of our sons. We are not being masculine at all. Political masculinity. Mm. Political math. We got a lot of masculinity with each other. We killing mm. each other in record numbers. So we got all the toxic, I don't even want to say toxic masculinity because that's a concept that feminists yeah. that, that try to castigate men who love being men. You know, but there's a lot mm. of negative masculinity being shown out there. We need to see positive political masculinity on display all i'm seeing is excuses black men running away from the neighborhood not no charitable spirit in our men they're so materialistic emotional selfish they damn they act like the women to be honest with you and mm, i'm very mm. i'm very disappointed in black men mm, mm. so let me but ask most you of us, most of them were raised by women too so you can mm. kind of see where they get the cattiness and the selfishness well she don't do it so why do i got to do it my definition of who I am ain't got a damn thing to do with what the woman is doing. My responsibility and accountability ain't got a damn thing to do with what the woman is doing. I am a man, and as a man, I have a responsibility to protect and provide. I'm not going to use her behavior, her attitude, or anything else she does as an excuse for me not to fulfill my God-given obligations to my community. You know, when I hear this tick for tack, that is so unmanly to go tick for tack with a woman. Why would a man go tick for tack with a woman? over why he should not be responsible to his community. That's insane. You will never see a Chinese man argue for why he should not be responsible to his community. You'll never see a Latino. You will never see no other man but a black man get on social media, tear his woman down, first of all. You'll never see another man do that. Mm. We get on social media and rip our women to pieces and then turn around and argue with them about why we are not responsible for our community mm. insane i know i've seen a video where you most recently talk about black men needing to get back involved with the community well i i, I would say being fathers uh what's being the fathers to the entire community exactly all right because uh, yeah, I, I i'm not talking yeah. individualism because you know the first yeah, thing you, some negro says i take care of my son yeah that's yeah, not, yeah that's not the point yeah, and I know, and I know that's that's a major premise of what you talk about is co collectivization. Collective. Yeah, it, it got to be in the collective. Uh, what's the return on investment for black men to be stepfathers in mass? The return on investment is a strong community. That's the return on the investment. You mm -hmm. shouldn't be looking for nothing else but the liberty and, and salvation of your people. That should be mm -hmm. all you should care. That's the return. See, the fact that you even have to ask that question mm -hmm. suggests that there's selfishness amongst us. Because why am I looking for sure a return? Indeed. Why do I have to get something out 
of helping a black boy become a man. You see, I, why I do I need a return on that? I think a lot of men uh, return is dealing with, you know, certain situations that they may deem as baggage for them. Or, and, and it could be vice versa as well, too. Who don't have baggage? We all got baggage. Black men especially got baggage. Exactly. So I, I don't I don't I don't understand that. You know, you got brothers out here saying I shouldn't have to deal with a woman who did bro, look at all of us with prison records. Are you serious? That's that's what I was gonna ask look you. Look at all of us with gun charges. Are yeah, you serious? You brought me to my, my next point. Should should sisters give the brothers coming home a chance? It depends. Mm -hmm. I can't say that's okay. Overall, yes. Mm -hmm. But she still has to make great decisions in her screening process mm. because there's good men who come out of prison i've met brothers there's mm. also not good men who come out of prison i've met some of them too who mm. will play on the heartstrings of a woman till he get back on her feet and leave her high and dry so she has to be very careful dealing with a man in prison or a woman you got to mm. be careful because they'll say anything to get some help until they get back on their feet so you got to be very careful when you're dealing with somebody who has a whole lot to gain and a lot to lose if they don't end up with you. Certainly, certainly.